December the 31st, 2019. So days before, I even forget to say that. Let me wish you all a happy new year. 2020 health, the best of all you. Here's what it is. I am a little bit like this because it was tough, tough week. I will get perhaps three, four hours of sleep per day. Eventually resulted in my falling down yesterday badly in this place. I'm gonna give you a video about that. Uh, not a good stuff went on, and so today the symptom and it's coming in a separate video. Regardless of it, I wish you all a happy new year. Uh, yesterday, on December the 30th of 2019, okay, the about day prior to the new year. 2020, I stopped by at the Lodge Immigration Center, Immigration Office, uh, the Polish Immigration in Łódź. And uh, the only thing you're going to do is you're going to have to listen to audio recording. I'm going to say like this the gentleman, uh, I want to thank the Polish Immigration. It was a Polish Immigration that helped me out with it. This gentleman. Well, maybe Polish immigration kind of uh, take it upon themselves quite a lot here in this case. But it was someone else too uh, from UK, from the United Kingdom. Now, I did not even use Great Britain or anything like this expression. I have used the expression of Great United Kingdom that helped me out as well. Uh, in fact, not too long ago, it was his brother who exposed himself as well. Uh, but, and I want to thank this, both of them. I wish I could do more at this point, but the situation of a man is, explains quite, how can I say? I'm quite fluent, I have explained the situation in audio recording that you're about to hear. Uh, I'm not in a good situation. I lost 25 years of life because of this. And so I want to get rid of it. I want to get over of that so I can start my life. So I can start my life for the first time, basically, in my life. And so until this thing goes through, I really want to thank you. This is a beautiful New Year's gift. But until this thing goes entirely through, I will stay loyal to my principles. Uh, these are the principles and got me in trouble in the first place. But I am just a person that doesn't quit at whatever cost there might be. Um, unfortunately for me, and it's why I explain this, I was told you're going to make it through at the beginning of the St. Piotr, I was told, you're going to make it through. Uh, but unfortunately, you're going to do a mistake like most of the MK Ultra people do. And that basically is that rather to get assistance from people, rather to take the neutral stand and use other people to prove your case, you're gonna stand up against all of them because this is like basically somebody smacks you and that's when you basically stand up and you start to hit back. And the more you hit, and I'm the kind of person that I just don't like to owe anybody anything. I was like brought like this as a kid to stand up for my rights. I was in a tough environment. Uh, I have probably managed to push everyone to try to help me out the way as far as possible. Eventually, I kind of had a war with the whole world, I think. Um, and so, that cost me. That was a huge cost I paid. Uh, but right now, as the things are, I'm kind of a repentance because the case is proven. What exactly happened at Polish immigration? Polish immigration, what happened was, I have done, I have gone as far as doing something I was told by the Polish immigration officer who came up yesterday. 
who also came up by the stairs as I was waiting to get to the, and my turn to get to the documents from the Polish immigration. It's the stock you not, do not relate, do not relate the, uh, the couple that will be waiting outside with a gentleman with whom you're going to have a possibility to get the interview. He does not admit directly, but if you have a little brain, you will understand that basically he wishes me the best. He's there basically to help out as much as he can. And well, he did about just as much as he possibly he could. He came to as close to admission in English language that as close as he possibly you can get. You can't really get closer. Uh, I ask quite interesting questions. I try to get as much as possible, but then again, you will see that this is as much as you can get. And I really, really want to thank him for this matter. This is a very nice British gentleman, a really nice person. There is another couple I met in a hostel, British, Polish, in 2017 when I traveled to Belarus. They also tried to help me out. It is also a beautiful couple also involved in anti-entry in a hostel. But for that matter, I'm going to have to explain some other time the circumstances they have prepared for me, so I would not... I mean, completely different circumstances than here. Okay, so I didn't use the opportunity, not, not there, not in Belarus. This was something completely, you know, that I went many, many days even without the sleep and stuff like this. Messed up situation, okay. However, I managed. Uh, but in this, in this case, in this scenario, you had a couple. This is a Kieczkowska, Pietrakowska, something like this. In Polish, in my language, it would be Pietrakowska. They would translate Pietrakowska. In Polish, they say Pietrakowska, Pietrakowska. They, they like sure, something quickly they pronounce like this. Okay. So, in that street, not too far from there, it's a couple for whom the couple gives me uh, visual confirmations. Uh, the gentleman I speak with in English, uh, whose name I'm not gonna tell, obviously I will not, I will protect his identity. Uh, he gave me his, his ID, everything. However, it's something I am gonna uh, protect from publicly. Uh, he also gives me um, visual, you know, confirmations about my account because my account is exact in millimeter. You know, when I meet people, what it is, it takes me a little time, and what I do basically, I I see the whole film in front of me. I see the whole picture. I basically find myself in space. And as much as I don't know which building exactly it is where I was. I stop at one building as we go on this Kechakoska Street and I tell him, you and I, already before this, I tell him that we were like maybe five minutes away from immigration. And I tell him that the building where we were, you and I, it looks exactly like this, exactly like this one here. And again, he gives me a visual and if you have a doubt, you can go and you can count minutes. Uh, and you can compare this with location of the hostel, whose, which name is Flamingo. I had no clue about Flamingo, that this, is, this was the name of the hostel where he and I would stay. I have no idea what the hostels look like in Plosh, there's a numerous hostels. Uh, but I give exactly the description, I describe him, I give him exactly as many details as he possibly can and so on. And I'm actually really looking forward to much bigger consent in this case because I want to get something actually go much further than that. Okay, the couple there, this is a really nice Polish Ukrainian couple. Okay, the girl, a babe, is Ukrainian. A younger babe, oh this was this was you know when was this? This was in 2006 that she and I met. Uh, she was the one somehow who got attention from me. He was her boyfriend. He was actually. Mm -hmm. 
Joj, przepraszam. Przepraszam, przepraszam. Ok. So. street and I'll give you the rest of the account. Okay, and so <laughs> what it is is that, again, it, it, what, what got my attention under MK Ultra, just like every other male, I just want to say this to a psychologist that this is just like every other male. I mean, this is a retarded condition, this MK Ultra. This is when you are subjected to someone else's treatment and you don't have any kind of freedom of anything. I mean, and every time you disappear from the picture, you have, you, you, you just, this is completely, completely messed up stuff. So don't judge me according to that. I mean, this is just the way it is. What got what got what gets your attention on MK Ultra are women. Okay, maybe it's a car if somebody start to challenge you in a car, and maybe a watch or something like this. And that's about it. But women, that's all there is to it. Okay, so for me, okay, it might be different for other people, but this was the case for me. This is just the way it was. And so this was yet another one. This one was Ukrainian, and again me. Not, you know, under MTR, they're just, uh, you know, uh, a lady again. And what happens was uh, she, again, she flirted, you know, that's the whole thing. And then her boyfriend, which was a Polish guy, became a, her boyfriend, find himself on a picture. So I'm pretty sure this was in 2006 because she was younger. And she was like, to me, under MTR, she was like a hot, hot babe. I just gotta say like this, okay? She's older now. Um, not that she's looking bad or anything like this, but this was younger. I was younger. She was younger. Her boyfriend was younger. And well, guess what? They took me to their apartment. They took out this apartment, and we were in an apartment. And it was like all kinds of hocus pocus. It's a really nice boyfriend. Funny guy, nice guy. This individual is like super well known in Lodge. This is an old cat, okay, probably about my age, that wanders around and uh, meets people. It's like a city boy, okay? And so they live not too far from there. In Petrokoska, they have apartment. And this apartment is also, this apartment is located now. If I was exit the immigration center, it would be located on the right side of the street. Therefore, not on the left side, like immigration center is, but on the opposite side of the street. And it also is a building that will be, and that will be like, I see it's like older building, it's, uh, I was inside, you know, I could give a good description of what it looks like, okay? but it doesn't matter, okay, I recognize, but the scenario was that when a British gentleman is going to appear from whom I was told, by the immigration officer who, well, she helped me out tremendously a lot. This immigration officer, she is, she is really an angel. I, I believe in angels, I do. Make sure that you're going to do this and that. Tra la la, under MKH. Okay, but, and this gentleman told me, and he acted nervous. He walked back and forth. He walked back and forth. And he was looking at me. He would give me absolutely no break whatsoever. He doubt me absolutely and absolutely everything, everything. He doubt me. You're going to hear, I ask him, you guys are looking for a partner. I'm just trying to like approach to them, you know, get touch, feel, see how they feel, what, how far I can go before I go, before I do anything. I do that. Even I know people, I don't go, I don't jump like this. I want to estimate the situation, I want to evaluate what the circumstances are, where am I getting myself in, before I do anything. And so little by little I go, and once I know exactly what's going on, I 
totally picture them, their apartment, where they are, who they are, this and that. That's basically when I jump. But I do this in a such a way that I do it in front of the gentleman with whom I, we kind of agree we're going to have like an interview in front of the British gentleman. So I do it now, and I do it in a such a way in front of them because under MTR scenario, he told me, if you're going to say this, this and that, that we know each other, that we actually know each other with the British guy, we're going to say no. Because that is basically totally disclosing that immigration basically arranged the meeting of them and this individual, which basically I can tell you that people that were inside of the immigration building when I came, all that stuff that uh, that happened, there was a lot of people, there was also other people that I was meeting along, it also, this is the case that actually confirms the whole thing. It's actually proven beyond any doubt, not that this will be the only case like this, I have other cases, I just have to put this stuff on the internet. This is not the only case, okay? so. Uh, nothing to worry about that too. And so that's exactly what I did. I challenged right in front of him and there was nothing else left for them than to confirm that stuff. Now, however, they did have a hook, they did have a hack on that to defend themselves. That was basically a girl stated me that well, she was the first time in a Poland that she came like three years ago. That she is nowhere in the evidence. She is not because we have a lot of Ukrainian people that are, that are inside of the system, like the girl not too far from here a lot of people like this, including the workers over there where I worked, they are here already for like, they were here already in 2006, 2005, and so on, that are not anywhere inside of this system. They come like, they're new people and so on. Let's say uh, the gentleman, I still owe you the audio, and the girl, his girl, uh, that I recognize their place, their residence, how it looks like, her house, her city in Kharkiv, this is on the other side of Ukraine, next to Russia. Her school and so on and so forth. Give all this kind of descriptions, her father-in-law. All this kind of description what I give. They're not even in the system. It's like they're new people here and so on. There's plenty of stuff like this. I, it's a lot of videos, so I have to put it on. It's just no time. Right now, it's the 31st. I got to find myself a new place so I'm not going to freeze over there in this freezer and so on. This is not a joke. This is not so easy as you would think. Okay, you just don't know time and the circumstances are such that I was actually paying to get tortured. Now it's time for me to get my money back through the court. This is the first thing we're gonna do in, for the new year of 2020. You don't know how bitten up I am. You have no idea what's going on. So this, this is not like you think. You just go and people do this stuff like that. It's not like this. Anyhow. I do this successfully to give me the confirmation as far as they can do, as much as they can do. And the rest of it, you're going to hear, even I do stuff like this. He said, the immigration officer don't do something like this because it's impossible that you would actually know that you would have ability when you would see both of them, that you would know so much, that you would remember so much. This go actually folks to year 2006, not even 2008, as I suggest. I'm sure they go to tell a thousand and six. Actually, wait a minute. No, this is not possible. It does not go to 2006. 2008, 2010. 2008, because I met them before I met this gentleman, before I met the British gentleman, uh, and because then he popped up uh, on the picture. Um, officially, I don't know what, what he's got to say, but he was... He also was there before that. He was staying in a in a hostel uh, in a Poland. He didn't just come here and just, just just stay here. It doesn't work like this. He already knew the country well before he decided to stay uh, entirely. No? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. No, to jest piękny. Ajoj. No, it's a really beautiful one. Ajoj, that is a beautiful. Ajoj. No, talk it to me. Oh, no. Ay, oi. Ay, oi. If you want to see something beautiful. A yak is to? Rasa, rasa, Peking. 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 Yak piękny is to ste. A ty chciał by znać. Muszę znaleźć mi takie mieszkanie i czyścić moje. Spodnie, ale dobrze jest. On może to. Ja nie mogę pozwolić to. 
Może tak być. Najpierw Może być. Tak, dziękuję bardzo. Życzę szczęśliwego roku. Dziękuję. Do widzenia. Tak. Ok, so um, he didn't come in a country just like that. He knew what exactly he was doing. Uh, things didn't just happen for him like this. Actually, the immigration officer who arranged this meeting conditioned him to get involved to help out. But the real jack here, the real jack of the trades here, was actually Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew was the one that bitched me. One time he was gonna, I felt like he's gonna choke me. Um, I did all kinds of stuff. I would not take anybody seriously. I wouldn't take him seriously either. Uh, but there were a few minutes, few few things, there were quite a few things on the MK Ultra that uh, make me serious. Well, he was, he just happened to be one of them because he, he was taking this stuff seriously. Uh, the guys, just like myself, I did. That was on December the 29th, Sunday it was, when I would commute to Lodge, it was freezing, and I, me on the bicycle and going around looking for a place and stuff like this. Um, relentlessly, with a smile on my face as I am, but the thing is that others who did this stuff, they were in a, in a, in a, in a damn bad shape. They were really poor bastards, and to him, it wasn't a funny thing. Uh, but he said that when I see you doing stuff like this, that's when I'm gonna take you seri uh, I'll start to take you more seriously. Uh, let's just put it this way: the psychologist, the American guy of Irish descent. One time, we were going back to from Wuch to Zgiers. We were driving with the car, and there was a guy. I think another psychologist from uh, Oklahoma. I think I'm not sure which one that was. A younger guy very professional psychologists too and especially the two were happy when the two met because they had they had the same profession they shared the same interests the same views both are really really super professional people but the thing is that you know the thing is that when they told me you know about the stuff how they suffer how you know some of them got some of them got crippled with this work in this factory uh, to do when they evaluated them uh, stuff like this what I did was I didn't express them like, and that's quite crazy because you're helpless under MK Ultra. At least, if you were a little bit smart, at least you should pretend that you're concerned for the person. I, the only thing I did was instead I would just go and, and I would laugh at them. I would give them like a feedback, good for you. You do this, you did this to yourself, good for you. And well, one time when we were going, and the two were discussing the business, we were three inside of the car. The old psychologist, the one that teach me on how to get out of the pole and how to get myself out of the pole. Anyway, he lost his temper. Uh, he lost his temper in front of the other psychologist and said, "Boy, boy, you don't know what you did to us. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, boy. I'm gonna kill you. You don't know what you did to us. You don't know what you did to us. I'm gonna kill you right now. This time, I'm gonna kill you." Right and he did this in front of other psychologists, and and he realized he said, "Man, he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to do that." And the other psychologist says, "Please, please, please, relax. Please, please come. Please come." It's okay, it's okay. And then he turned around. <laughs> you know what you did to us? You know what you did to us? And I had a few psychologists stressed out completely. I was, that was the time when I felt like deadly serious to that. That was not too far so I would not keep my mouth shut and stop. Uh, joking in my way. Because the thing is, under MK Ultra. <laughs> I didn't give much about what went on. I really didn't care about, you know. I felt like I'm right because my rights are violated. You don't have the right to do that. So why should I express compassion for you? Now, the thing about it is that I heard later on, this psychologist actually ended up crippled. And this is an older man. He actually ended up crippled, folks. This is what I hear Donald Trump have done to him. Uh, I am very sorry about all this stuff. It was a really decent people involved in it, especially the British people, every one of them. Not a British, not a single British individual would do me any harm. 
they were motivated, and I'm gonna say beyond motivated in helping me out. And so the gentleman that I have spoken about that really drove me insane with those issues that could really really help me get myself out of the Poland and I don't know what 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 Donald Trump that's what he hired him for you know the only thing I want to do is basically help him out um, I take back my words about like I said at the beginning of this stuff I got myself entwingled like other people when they get into anti ultra business they think they they get you know you get angry and you start beating everything you wanna you know go against the whole world you, know? you start to bitch everybody and that does you no good it just gets you in trouble and good people are out there to help you out it just pushes them away so if you get yourself in a similar situation don't, don't do what I did I right, try to make the sense out of it it's gonna be good for you right because there are people out there will try to help you but you're just gonna go and just start to beat uh, uh, the crap out of everybody that comes your way uh, I did this with the psychologist from Norway in, in 2010 she came to help me out and the only thing I was um, you know the temperature went up you know the other guy popped out or whatever but he will he, he bullied the Swedish guy anti ultra staff member and you know it wasn't okay so somehow I did find myself in this space and people coming somehow to the rescue and that's a good thing all right so much of the stuff I said I take back um, it was a lot of stuff very extremely unpleasant stuff that you you have no idea what kind of threats I got I got threats that included drawing me in a exit that would leave nothing behind me other than not even bones would it disintegrate even the stuff like this I was threatened with you have no idea okay so it, it was all kinds of stuff that went on and then when you get yourself in anti ultra you gotta know that person that is subjected to this kind of stuff you might be a super nice person everything but he's gonna see you as a part of the whole thing and this is actually what the gentleman yesterday did he did help me out to understand there were different people with different kind of issues and it's the stuff that he didn't help me out to understand that I understood this very well you can understand when you as you're listening you can learn a lot from it uh, on how to see things as but um, yeah it made he made me he helped me out to point out right now that there are different people with different kind of issues and you cannot equal everybody you cannot put everybody in the same basket okay other than that relax sit back this is in English all right for those who speak Polish it will be probably beneficial okay but this is as far as it goes that's all I gotta say um, there's a whole lot of other people and so on and videos I gotta come up now I gotta go find myself quickly as a place to leave stay the rest is going to be audio recording in English, uh, Polish. Enjoy. Happy New Year 2020. I wish you here from Skirs from Poland. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye-bye. That's a beautiful cathedral here in Skirs. And I've got to go see it too. Uh, one more shot of myself I see that I zoom myself in and that's maybe even a good thing whatever but okay here's where I am
guys know? Are you seeing this woman? I'm sorry? Are you seeing the woman here? Yeah. Who's the lady in the right to see? I see my portion. I have an appointment. I'm just wondering here. I don't know any woman here. There are ladies here. Uh, do you know her name? It means the same thing. I, um, I don't know her name, no, but I have an appointment to see her. Okay. Uh, why don't you just knock the door and... Oh, well, she's just seeing this other guy. I was just... I was just wondering if you have an order, right? If everyone has an appointment. We do have an order. We do have an order, but if you're not sure, the lady is here. I will just knock and ask. Well, she's talking to someone else, so... Oh, wait. Maybe so, maybe so. But I'm sure that they will assist you. Okay. So, you want to talk to her? Yeah, let's talk to her. Na kogo czekajcie w tym No, pan na głos i czekam na... Najlepiej poinformować. Are you queuing for the Are you queuing for the Yeah, I have a lot of Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. Both of us. Sorry, how long have you been in Poland? I've been living in Poland for about a year and a half now. Since I, 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 I think you're a bit older than yours. 
Yes, I know. I know. I, I actually I remember you. Sure. I remember you. So that's really? Good. Yeah, it's good. From when? Uh, it must have been a long time ago. Uh, yeah, it must have been a long time ago. It is a long reputation. For a permanent? You're still, for you're permanent still, still doing this? Uh, it's for permanent stay. I think it should be okay. correct. Yeah. It was yeah, five years ago. So, okay. I guess okay. I was going to say 2013. Okay, you have a copy? Because I need to have a copy. Um, I do have a copy, yes. Um, Signature. Okay. Um, uh, a copy of the document. So I have. Copy of application. Right? Yeah, I, I have another copy of the application. So, but it's a. Uh, the date is different. Is this important? Sure. Okay. There's a. Photos. Photos. I have photos. Passport. I have passport. And, and application. Can I wait for you, sir? Is, is it okay? I, I don't know how long it will take, but if you... Not yes, I would like to. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would like to. Okay, sure. Thank you so much.
Вы понимаете, что вы все? Нет, там падает. Это же зона, да там не нажимается.
I'm very interested. Listen, are you, what's he actually involved? Are you my gift? Are you your gift to me or what? Now tell me. Be honest, so you are.
start to worship stuff probably that they should not. You know, if you're looking for a source of where the hell that came from on the picture, yeah. and it's real, what you're saying, everything is real. Yeah. And it's probably as good as, so what we should do is just not take that too serious. So, we just put a smile on the face, and be jolly about it. Well, I mean, I, I try not to, yeah. I try not to look into it too much, right? It's a curiosity. It's something that's interesting to read about, but if you read about too much and you get freaked out, it, it can fuck you up. Like, especially I find reading 100%. about reading about MK Ultra stuff, um, like uh, the elite the, the stuff they're doing, you know, Bohemian Grove, film people. Like that's kind of interesting. And that's a, that's like uh, it's, it's not weird to talk about. But for me, when you're getting into like the aliens, the demons stuff. That's when. That's I when. Never, I never got into that. That's why I want yeah. to. That's why. That's when your brain starts. Oh, that's fucked up. I don't want to. I don't want to tell someone that. I imagine I'm here. I'm standing before you, mom, and all this. Yeah, yeah. So 
know how you expect it. Yeah. Okay. Epstein and Mad Douglas and Mike McCarthy. Three for the Epstein. Epstein yeah. was the one who was actually teaching me a map when I was subjected to MP Ultra. He would give me a map lesson. So he was trying to make a case out of this. He was Epstein alone in one of these cases. Epstein was already dead. In 95, out of the 95, Epstein was already dead. He was already finished. What were you doing in America? Okay, let me explain this. They already got it. Trump was involved in this stuff in the Soviet Union. But Trump had some action. I don't know, was it the Central Intelligence Agency? I'm sure it was, but FBI was 100%. So what he did was he jumped out of his ring and climbed. And he was the one who amputated Andrew. Andrew was caught. Trump jumped out on time. And pretending like he doesn't know anything. I'm absolutely pretty much sure that he is finished or what he was doing is he was trying to help him out as much as can for one day like this to come out. And so what he would do is he was not the worst thing that happened to me, or he was unpleasant to talk about. He was awakening me from NPS in such a sense, creating the picture about what goes on, so that one day I could actually get a really good testimony. So quite interesting, huh? Great stuff. Yeah. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Just stop. This later looked like Bryce. Bryce was the guy who used to work in the ship Celebrity cruises, so I can give a guy's description of how he looked like. About the skin costume of being a young girl. The island. And so, when you say this stuff, it's great that I'm here. It could be that I'm here also because I am. It also has pictures. It depends how you look. But yet, in this stuff, if you want to see the life, then you have to get a good bed you with me. We have absolutely everybody. I mean, literally. Yeah, listen, I'm not getting into this stuff, don't we? Listen, <laughs> listen, I, I'm one of many millions of people okay, that have just read the stuff. I have to say, it's. Stay alive and many, many people. If you're involved, then yeah, you're making me happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying bad, you can't, you can't bad, do it alone. Bad, like no, bad. of course. You have to survive. Oh, yeah, you have to. If somebody from the office is alive, yeah. Yeah. you bring the whole school of all the cases from this house, yeah. then you have to do stuff that otherwise you can't do it. So this make is what I am. Not so accepted, just. If what you said is true, then yeah, uh, I'm too That's exactly what I'm saying. And it makes sense, right? Uh, uh, I can it's like definitely, it's convincing. Person. It's convincing how you, uh, I'm not going to say, I, I don't know how you make sense, you, you speak very convincingly. But anyway, thank you for giving me a very uh, uh, fascinating that uh, that round? Still we're going to need time? You know what, you found me, you found me this time, let's see. I don't know man. I don't know, like I said, it's, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, like, like I said, it's freaked me out. I would like to. It's freaked me out, I would like to. You are the best person in the world, and you have to Oh, fuck off. Stop listen, it. hold Stop on, it. hold on. No, don't say shit like that, man, because it freaked me out again. Just, just listen, don't get sick. Just don't say shit like that, though. Psychologist, I'm sure you know, an American guy, an Irish person. You know, I heard he is crippled. He's crippled. I tell you, a lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of guys that can do this stuff with him, it's not about having a beast. It's about being human being, right? So think about if he's going to come to you or something, you want to meet something. No, could you, you freak me out, man. 
I'm not sure. I don't think you are joking. I don't think you are playing a game. But, but, but no, you're, you're still calling me. You're still calling me a fucking. You know, one of the dumpies. You just did. You just said you want to meet all the staff or whatever. Is it? Okay, I'm sorry, maybe I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, because I know, I know my last two years, man. I know that... None of that shit happened. I don't want you to think that I've been involved in that. No, I don't. I don't know if you do, I don't know if you're joking or not. I don't think you're joking, which is why I don't like it. Between oh, no, 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 listen, in between no, random people. Go, man, go. Are you going this way? Yeah. I don't want to hear you saying that I'm fucking involved in this shit again. You're not, you're not. So, why did you tell me this? Don't be stressed. Okay. Don't be stressed, man. I would like to meet you again. Okay. If possible, I'd like to be impressed. Don't be afraid. So good. Thanks over. Uh, telephone like this. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. Give me uh give me a telephone number. Sure. Uh, Meeting new people, there you go, you've admitted. New person. No, you haven't I, met. I never said meet. New. You just said meet new people. Meet you me. said new people. So you've just admitted you haven't met. No, no, no. I did not admit any of that. But you know, I mean. listen, uh, I said I like British people. I like meeting people. I like British people okay. a lot. To have a British connection here in this yeah. place is important. To have any kind of connection is sure. important. Yeah. It's good stuff. So. Okay. I like that a lot. Which is me. You know, if if if, uh, if we should meet again, then we will. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best. All the best. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Ten budynek tu jest jeszcze to za wynajem. Ach, nie wiem, nie mam pojęcia. Ten? No. To od drugiej strony musi pan, od Piotrkowskiej zapytać. Od Piotrkowskiej. Ja nie wiem. Ja Ale nie wiem. to kosztuje tam? To zależy. Może wiesz, będzie w kamienicy takiego? Proszę? Wiem, no ale to musi pan pytać. Tylko wy znacie, wy znacie jakieś pokoje? Ja nie wiem. Nie wiem. Było, no. Dla tego znajomego to... Nie, nie, nie mam. Dziękuję bardzo. Nie ma za to. Do widzenia. Wow, December the 30th, 2019 it is, and this is just, you were able to hear, this is a really beautiful present for me. Uh, this one already is from Prince Andrew. Um, the signal was that whenever I mentioned Prince Andrew, the gentleman would just start to freak out, for one thing. I will not say his whole name, but he did give me his name, he gave me, he showed me the card and everything, but this is a really, really nice gentleman that would come forward not a staff member he didn't want to be an all just one uh but now you can see what people feel that they were in this thing what how they feel about this it's actually a really really nice decent person so andrew basically has a chance okay let's just put it that way if he does what he agreed to he will do let's just say this is a real real chance for him so and for the people here in Poland let's say so this is definitely definitely a beautiful day this was again this was recorded on December the 30th of 2019 but tomorrow I have to move out. I'm out. Gotta find myself a place. And basically that's that.